Well, good morning. It's Thursday the 6th of December and you find me at Warwick Services uh, just off the M40 London bound. Uh, we're actually on our way down to Portsmouth and you can see Sandy over there walking Chippendale, letting them go to the toilet and stretch their little legs. Um, been a stressful couple of weeks. Um, those of you that are friends on Chuggabug on Facebook, please send a friend request. But I've had a sneak preview of what's been going on. Um, yeah, we hardly yet another delay. We were supposed to be going in uh, last Tuesday, but we had more delays. Let's forget about that. We sat down, had a good chat with Graham, and that was half the problem. Uh, sorry about the wind noise. <laughs> I'm trying to get out of the way. There is a lot of wind noise here. It's quite windy. Um, there was um, a problem with the boat that they put in uh, the previous week, but we sat down and had a nice chat with Graham. Communication is key. And I think that's what, what uh, was frustrating Sandy and I more than anything was we weren't being told um, of the problems and of the delays. We were texting and phoning and had nothing back. We have heard off Graham, we've sat down, we've sorted it out and they've done a lot of work on Chuggabug. And I mean a lot of work on Chuggabug. So off we went. Uh, this time we had Harry, Sandy's son, with us. He uh, he's, he hasn't seen the boat yet, so he was coming down with us this morning. A bit tense going down. Obviously, we had um, a little bit of a bad couple of weeks, um, but still we're there now. Had a nice chat with Graham, um, and as uh, as we go down, it's the old familiar Bar Bridge to the left. Well, we soon got down to Cunliffe Boats, and on arrival, there was Graham, sitting on the stern above our beautiful Beta Marine 43 engine. You can actually see him now priming the engine up. He actually got the, uh, uh, the keys, uh, unsealed them, so the engine hasn't started yet, and asked me if I'd like the honour to start the engine for the very, very first time. So he gave me a few instructions of, uh, of what to do. Um, we weren't expecting it to go on the first kick, as obviously we had to uh, prime the engine first and actually get fuel into the engine. Okay. Yeah, so you, you just did like the glow, glow plug, if you like. You glow plug in it, then yep. you go to run to start. Okay, yeah. so now then, yeah? It's not like the old trucks where you have to pull a lever to switch them back off. Right. Just turn that. This felt so weird. I can't tell you how weird, but how happy it was I was at uh, at the same time. Ooh. <laughs> Keep priming, Graham. Keep priming. priming it. This time, lucky. It's a balancing act. Maybe not. It's only when. Well, when no one was looking, I wiped away my tears and stood back and had a look at the boat. And there she is, just sitting there. Some work had been done. You can see the electric cupboard is uh, getting a lot fuller than as it was, but I just couldn't take my eyes off that Beta Marine. Yep, fine looking engine in Beta Marine Green. Uh, we can see we do have quite a few controls on the uh, control bar and also some wood on the stern rail and looking down the roof we've got the chrome 
mushroom vents all fitted and sitting proud on the roof. All the doors now have been stained. They're just sitting there now waiting for Andy to fit them. Now the paint. They had put a thick white coach line in the middle of our black coach line which isn't what we wanted at all. But as you can see now that, uh, that problem has been rectified and on the roof we have our barge pole and our boat hook. Uh, there will be a gangplank in the centre of that. And anti-slip paint has been painted on the gunnels and on the roof and stern also. See Sandy there inside having a look around the dinette area as I'm just walking to get on board. We do have a red pinstripe to go around that nameplate and the keen-eyed of you will notice we have studs on the cratch frame and down the side of the boat. We do have a cratch cover. It's all been made and in storage on the boat and that will be revealed possibly after launch day. Nice dinette covers on the drawers. And we have something to go on. We have our toilet. And it's porcelain. Very pleased with it. The water feed gets fed from our water tank. And we empty the cassette uh, from the bedroom there. There will obviously be a door covering that. And the electric cupboard has lots going on. Don't ask me to tell you what a lot of this is, as I haven't got a clue. But Graham is going to explain all. And there's her heart. Yeah, so as you can see, lots of work done. We do have the new launch date. The launch date is December the 21st. Um, it didn't work, not telling you, because it still went wrong, so we've decided to share it. Yep, December the 21st, it'll be a late afternoon launch. Um, it has to be that Friday so Sandy, can, uh, Sandy and I can make it. And we're not going in at Swanley Bridge now. We're going in at Aqueduct Marina, which is just uh, off the Middlewich branch of the Shropshire Union. Uh, so we're planning on getting it in on that Friday, cruising it down to, uh, to Tatton Hall Marina on that Saturday. So we should be there Saturday afternoon. So all's looking good. But yes, we, uh, we'd like to thank all the subscribers for your very kind comments. Thanks for the offers of uh, a B&B &B to stay at your place. Very kind of you. Um, but we decided to go back down to Portsmouth to see our friends, Chris and Cliff. Uh, we're going to go and stay with them for a few nights. Um, I fully intend to do a bit of filming down there and show everyone that hasn't been to Portsmouth uh, what it's like and how good it is. So come with us on our other little journey down to, down to Portsmouth or Pompey as it's known and uh, yeah we're getting there folks 21st of December if it isn't we're just going to launch ourselves into the canal because that would be the end of it okay take care bye bye